Hello everyone, it's Farkid here. And in this season, uh, I had to restart because I lost my save. I managed to save over a new idiot, Farkid, jeez. Though, I make do. So what I'm going to be doing is turning my HUD on. Because I was probably getting pretty visuals for a thumbnail. Okay, so I can see what's going on. How much food I need, etc, etc. Um, better eat them all. I'm going to get this plain outfit. The stewardess outfit. There we go. I wonder if you can get infected by doing this. Oh, yeah, I don't think so. Okay. So this is a good start for pros. And what I mean by pros is that you've played the game, you know what you're doing. But this is a very, very boring start. It is not fun to do at all. Ooh, electrical tape. <laughs> I don't have to deal with that crap I experienced last time. Uh, there we go, slingshot. And I'll make an upgrade stick to get some rocks. There we go, that'll do. Ooh, rabbits. Okay, so better sign things. Uh, number three, upgraded stick number two. Where'd that rabbit go? Oh, I've got M131 on A. Eh? Change that to Blockbuster for during the day so I can actually see things. Ah, oh, it's good having a slingshot to start with. My first attempt at Season 5 didn't go too well. I'm going to get these because it's handy to have all the supplies you can get from these things. Okay, maxed out my booze so I can make up some Molotovs. Weak spear. I'll sign that to number 4. There we go. More kitted out. So I won't accidentally drink a soda or anything like that. I have a terrible habit of doing that. Ooh, there's a deer. Oh, I freaking missed that. Okay, so I want to get moving. I keep getting distracted. But I'm finding good things, like a rabbit just there. Jeez. Slingshot's overpowered, man. So what I'm doing, I'm going to the yacht and I'm going to raise my athleticism by 20 by day one. And why this is a good start for pros is because you need to know how to survive and you need to know where you're going. Now that I think about it, like anyone can do this. You don't have to be a pro, though it's definitely not for beginners. You're first starting. I wouldn't do this. Okay, this is the spot where I build the houseboat. There should be aloe vera around here. Just about every time I come here, there's aloe vera. I'm doing this on hard survival, by the way. There we go. Hello there. There's another one. Another one, three. There's probably more uh, that'll do for now. And coneflower, that's always, it always spawns here. These are all berry bushes, but there's nothing on them. There's no berries on them. Might have to come back later. Maybe they don't spawn on the first day. I don't know. Who knows? They change things and don't mention it. Okay, so what I'm going to do, there's a red man over there. You can see him climbing down the boat, but he disappears. Just gonna quickly build a drying rack so I can dry all this meat that I just got. It's not a bad start. Oh, the turtle. Oh, Jesus, it was assigned to number one. So I accidentally drank a soda. Oh, I was supposed to not do that. And a water collector, and I might build another drying rack because I wanna get some meat going real quick. Oh, perfect timing literally 10 seconds before so i'm gonna get some water from this there we go uh, do i want to dry that leg yeah probably not uh okay so what i'm gonna do is raise my athleticism by 10 or 20 and to do that you just need to sit underwater without a rebreather on <sighs> now this is a very boring way to start your game though the benefit of it is i'm going to be able to run faster longer perform more actions because i'll have more stamina well you don't have more stamina it recovers a lot quicker so the, the idea behind this is that i'll be able to do more so why i think it's for pros is that it will allow you to do more actions during the day and giving yourself that extra boost right from the start really gives you a head start on things think of it like gaining interest if you put money in the bank earlier you're going to make gains later on this is quite technical athleticism is raised by running sprinting or being underwater without a rebreather. Sprinting requires one hour and 36 minutes, and that will give you 10 athleticism. 
and being underwater for 25 minutes without a rebreather will give you 10 athleticism as well. However, they do not stack together, which means you could have say 18 athleticism and you might not have any at all because the true values are 10, not 100. So if you've got 10 athleticism, technically it means one. I hope I'm explaining this well enough because it's quite complicated. Say if you sprinted for an hour and 30 minutes, that will give you nine athleticism. And then you spent 20 minutes underwater, it'll probably give you eight athleticism. So you'd have 18 athleticism, but you will notice no benefits whatsoever. You won't run faster and you won't blah, blah, blah faster. So they raise separately. So what I'm trying to do here is raise it by 10 just by being underwater. So I'm probably gonna have to raise it by, uh, get my athleticism to at least 12, and then I'll definitely have gained one level of athleticism. It's so complicated. I've got a link to a video on how to raise it, but it's only in normal and hard mode. For hard survival, it's different. Athleticism is roughly the same, though in hard survival, you've got weight. And if you gain too much weight, you actually make it very difficult to gain athleticism. I think over 215 kilos, 215 pounds, 215 kilos, you massive fucker. <laughs> uh, no, if you have a 215 pounds, it starts to slow how much you gain. So with a max of 305 pounds, you're really not gaining any athleticism at that rate. You have to sprint for like three hours to gain a level of athleticism. This is one of those ways you could have a perfect character, I think. You set yourself up. One of the main reasons I'm doing this is because I'm recording. I need to be able to do as much as possible one day. If I keep running out of stamina, I have to record more because I'm recovering stamina and that means I have to edit more. So in a way, I'm saving myself a lot of time doing this. Now, this is quite boring to do on your own. I'm able to talk to you guys right now and just say a bunch of stuff. So it's not 100% most fun to start, that's for sure. Though the benefits are rewarding after the fact. After you've finished it, you're going to notice it. You should be able to max out your athleticism by day eight or nine by doing this, though that is a long time. 25 minutes times 10. Yeah, stuff that. It's probably not best for beginners because my hunger's going down and, you know, most of the time beginners should be spending time finding food and, well, I've already had that luxury. Gaining athleticism by sprinting takes forever. I think by day 80, you should have it maxed if you were just sprinting. It does take a long time an hour and 36 minutes of sprinting. But see, doing it this way, I'm gonna have more stamina recovery. I'm gonna be able to move quicker. What it means is that I'll be able to gain athleticism faster. So even if I did this for just until I got it to 10, I should be able to reach max athleticism a lot earlier than I normally would. Cause I have better stamina recovery. I'll be able to run more. Oh yeah, don't drown while doing this. Can be risky. Now full day and night cycle last 36 minutes. So you gotta spend a long time doing this. I would have to go until night time, past night time, most likely. I'm pretty sure night time only lasts 12 minutes and daytime lasts 24 minutes. I should have set a timer for this, but I haven't. So I've got no idea what my stats are at, but I definitely haven't been doing this for 25 minutes at this point. Also, you'll be able to hold your breath a lot longer underwater if you've got more athleticism. So you'll actually be able to raise it quicker. You won't have to go up for air as much. That should be good for building underwater. You won't need the rebreather so much. What are what it's like swimming in a dress? Can't say I've done that before. Ladies, you ever swim in a dress? Who am I kidding? I think four or five percent of my viewers are female. <laughs> Mostly men watch my channel. I think that's normal for games like this though. Now, the reason I do it near the yacht is so I don't have to build a shelter and I've got a retreat if I don't feel like dealing with cannibals. I was thinking that this would be a good start or just a method in multiplayer. Like for instance, if you're playing with friends and you jump on, they say, Oh, sorry, bro, I gotta smoke a few canes before I jump in. It makes it more freaky. What you could do is just spend an hour doing this and then you'll get a massive upper hand on them. You know, if you're waiting for other people to show up or if they're doing stuff that doesn't interest you, you can come and do this. Now you can use console commands to keep track of you. Turn on developer mode on, on PC, and you press F3 and you can see what your, your values are. Though, you can't do that on PlayStation. I reckon it sucks. I've actually read something, someone said something plugging in a keyboard and just typing in developer mode on, but I don't know if PlayStation 4s can have a keyboard. I'm pretty sure they can, but yeah, if you've got a keyboard, just try just typing it in, developer mode on, see what happens. You never know, it might work. Okay, I think I've done this long enough, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over to the yacht and hopefully the shark hasn't wandered over here. I'm gonna try and sleep. I don't know how I'm not cold. <laughs> It'd be freezing right out. And I'm gonna grab the ropes that are up here, three. 
There we go. And loot this. Okay. So I'll just check my stats. Clicking here. My athleticism's at 23. I'm almost 25% on my way to 100. I don't know if I'm going to keep doing it. I'm not going to eat because there's no point. I'm just going to sleep. Which I can't do yet. So I'm just going to stand here and wait till it's done. There we go. Stats. Okay, weight's dropped down, which is probably good. I don't really want to be gaining weight now. Gaining weight is the worst thing you can do because it's so hard to lose. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do this for a bit longer. I'm already noticing that my um, breath meter is going down a lot slower than it was before. So it's definitely working. I've already gone up at least one. I might have gone up two. I don't even know. But I don't mind this because I'm not running around trying to think of information to throw at you. I'm actually just sitting here and I can think clearly. It's pretty good. If you used a timer and you went up for air very quickly, like so it's instant, you get breath and you go back down, then the timer's going to be pretty accurate because you're not even going up for half a second. It took me a while to get used to Strata Deep, actually, because when you got for air in that game, you have to be up for about two or three seconds to get a full breath of air. But in this game, it's instant. You just go up half a second, you got a full breath of air. For those who are quite new to the game, back in the old day, athleticism used to be listed as one to 10. So it was really difficult to keep track of how you were gaining it, if you were gaining it at all. Though now it's listed as one to 100, zero to 100 so you can actually keep track of it but the values still stay the same it's still one to ten in the game code makes it more confusing to explain it to you though it makes it easier to track to know what you're doing i just hate stuff like the game files and the code and the way it's explained because i'm not very savvy with mathematics mathematic so it's quite hard for me to explain things i don't know if i'm actually making you more confused or if you actually understand what i'm talking about what I'd recommend doing actually is doing this while you're watching TV or something. Just make sure you you get like a system going. You don't want to run out of breath. Especially on hard survival, drowning damage is huge. What I should be doing is not just staying underwater. I should be getting turtles every time they come up. If I can bloody hit the freaking thing. There we go. There's no stealth mechanics in this in regards to being underwater. Uh, the cannibals can still see you. So it doesn't hide you at all. I know most games it gives you some sort of a coverage, but not in this game. So they come to the shore, they will probably be able to see me. Though they shouldn't, because I haven't placed a fire. My baby's trying to be put down. My partner's putting her down. And she screams and protests every time she has to go to sleep. Apparently I was like that as a baby. I used to have to go non-stop until I <laughs> tuck it out and then I just pass out. So if you hear her screaming, <laughs> apologies. I've got headphones on, so I can't really tell when she's screaming or not. The microphone's certainly going to pick it up. I think the turtles spawn every five minutes. On normal and hard mode, you're going to see a lot more than one. If I was swimming across along the beach, there's two or three turtle spawn spots, so should be kind of handy. Also, I'm going to go back on my deal. I'm not going to be building the sinkhole base. Instead, I'm going to be building a water base. Not just a house, but like a floating sea base. It's hard to explain. Reason being is I'm going to make a big base that's 100% safe, but it's going to be like a village, almost a water village. And it's going to be quite cheap to build, but it's also going to be immune from that new mutant. I'm going to go around and get some oysters because why the hell not? I don't have to eat my meat. I'm not, oh crap. I'm not gaining strength, so I don't have to worry about calories. I'm probably going to be losing some, but I don't know. I don't really care. Shouldn't go out too far. It is very rare to see the shark here, but I just always stress it. You never, never know when he might come this far. Because I've had him over here before. He'll go all the way over here. He'll chase you. There's something interesting about the shark. Is, um, the longer you outrun him, the faster he gets. When he starts chasing you, you can you swim a bit slower than him. Though he starts picking up speed, so eventually he's going to get you. Oh, I missed the turtle. Oh, no, he's coming back. He's like, oh, sorry, brother. Oh, don't get caught on the coral. Okay, he's there, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Athleticism 27, still going strong. I'll quickly place that, take a sip, and kill him. I can't swing my weapon, otherwise I'm going to lose strength. There we go. A full rack of meat, and I'm not even really doing anything. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to eat the oysters. They go off really quick, so pays to do that. I'll see them all. Only 10 calories each. I'm going to go until the end of this day, I think. Day one. So I've already gone day zero. This is day one. And see how far I can get with it. 
You can keep going through the night even if you want to. It's just harder to see if you get caught on coral. You don't know where the water is. Of course, it's underneath you, but like the deeper parts of the water where you need to be. If it's too shallow, you can't get underneath to see the breathe meter. I think I might have to say this. You got to see the breathe meter for it to work. If you can't see the breathe meter, you're not going to be gaining athleticism. And if you've got the rebreather on, you're not going to gain any athleticism. Otherwise, that'd be cheating. I thought about doing a video on how long it takes to get max stats. Like how many days can it be done in? I'm pretty sure you can save an exit after you've gained two strength and you come back and it's gone up again. Might back up my saves this time. The <laughs> same mistake of overriding my save. Can't believe I did that. I've been having so many issues with GeForce experience too. That's how I record. It's been giving me a headache ever since the latest update. I've been struggling to get the thing working so I can record and make videos. That's why my videos have been late. Stupid thing. You don't have to sit in the one spot. You could go swimming around the island or go in places if you wanted to. That's completely up to you. Okay, there's suitcases up here. So all I'm going to do is quickly grab them before the cannibals come. Because no matter where you are, the cannibals do come to where you're located. I'm going to lose strength from this, but I don't care. Hopefully it's not too much. Ah, oh, turtle. I remember the scene on the wiki. I don't know if it's still there. Someone actually tested how many times you had to hit a turtle shell before it died. I think it was like 50. If you go for the head, it kills it instantly. I might make a little rock bag. Because I've got to do more hunting once I'm done doing this. They really need a spear fishing gun, eh? I reckon a, an exclusive weapon that you can only use underwater. And it automatically equips when you get into water. I reckon that'll be good because then you could go uh, fishing. And you'd also have a chance of getting away from a shark. Like if you shoot at the shark, it might run away or it gets injured or something. I don't know. There's just too many fishing spots and you can't really reach them when you're in the water. So I don't see the point of having a lot of them. God, it gets dark quick in this game. Yes, it's getting very difficult to see. I wonder what will happen if I switch it to M131. Oh, yeah, you can see a lot better. Yeah, I've heard that PlayStation 4 players don't have this color grading thing. I think it's needed. God, I wonder what they're playing on. It's probably original, which is actually quite dark. Can you imagine seeing a shark come at you underwater like this? That'd be freaky. They do attack at night, so <laughs> don't think you're safe. You just can't see them at night, unless you got the rebreather on. Uh, that's enough, I think. I'm just going to quickly check what it's at. God, it's so bright. Uh, 30. I want to go until it's about 32. Because then it should be definitely at 3. Or 30. I can't tell. I haven't got console commands turned on. Oh, like last season. Last, <laughs> other season 5. This is season 5 part 2. I'm going to be playing this without console commands or mods. So the PlayStation 4 players will be able to do what I'm doing. Yeah, it's, it's fair. Oh crap, it just started raining. I got cold even though I'm underwater. Pretty sure the rain heats up water, doesn't it? I don't know about in the ocean. It does in pools and lakes and stuff. It appears you don't take cold damage if you stand still underneath water when you're cold. It only seems to happen when you're out of the water, which is odd. I should really eat something. What do you reckon? <laughs> it's getting pretty bad. There we go, that'll do. Ah, oh, trick something. I might check my stats quickly. 32. I was going to keep going until it's morning. I'm not going to sleep. Sleep is for the weak. Ah. Schwimmen in der Wasser. Where else would you want to swim? I can't see the moon. Oh, it's over there. Yeah, you can tell the time of night by where the moon is. See how it's setting? Setting? Yeah, the moon's setting. It's going down. And then the sun will come up that way. As I said, you follow the sun in the morning, take you to the fertile lands. It's going to go daytime any minute now. So that goes down, the sun comes up. I don't know why you got a block to heat yourself up now. I don't know why they added that feature. So you'll see a spark of light, and that's when the day changes over. So my calories and that will reset. So that's a pretty good start, eh? I shouldn't stand still too long. There we go. See? That's when the calories reset. Yep, they're all reset. So I better eat something. Yeah, 32 athleticism, day survived one. Holy crap. Now that's a start. A very boring one, but God, very beneficial. So I quickly duck over to the yacht and save. I've actually always wanted to start a game doing this, eh? I really have. And I can finally do it. God, I'm so happy about that. There we go, all saved and done. In the next episode, I'm going to try and build a houseboat. I'm going to do it as quick as I can. I'm going to time myself. Should be fun. Anyway, if you like this video, 
Make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers. Cheers.